love blueberry muffins and I have a great recipe for them but in this video I'm gonna share a low carb low sugar type of blueberry muffin that you actually might enjoy if you are on a low carb diet if you like this type of tutorial feel free to subscribe to my channel all links will be posted in the comment box below don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can receive notifications when I post a tutorial. Since this is a low carb recipe, we are not using flour. We're using almond flour and you want to use the super fine almond flour. You will need 2 cups of almond flour or 234 grams of it. I am adding 1 quarter cup of coconut flour, which is 32 grams of it and I am mixing this well. If you don't have coconut flour, you can add another half cup of the almond flour instead. Now I am adding swerve. For this recipe, you will need 137 grams of swerve, which is almost like three quarter cups and two tablespoons of it. I am adding one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and I am adding one quarter teaspoon of salt. Once you have all the dry ingredients, you want to mix this well. Now I will be adding my wet ingredients. I am adding five tablespoons of butter, which you want to measure before you melt and then melt. It's around 80 grams of butter. I am using heavy cream, one third cup, with two tablespoons, which is 109 grams of it. You can use milk if you prefer, or almond milk if you wanna go dairy free. I am adding three eggs, and you want this at room temperature. Now you can add vanilla extract. I usually like to add two teaspoons of it, but you can go with one if you prefer less vanilla flavor. This recipe is so easy that you don't need a mixer, you can mix this manually. Just make sure that everything is mixed well. I love blueberries and I use a whole cup of them. If you want to use less to stay low carb, then go ahead and use three quarters. Or if you want more, just add more. This will depend on you. I always say some so I can put them at the top of the muffin so it looks really nice and the muffins have blueberries everywhere. Just drop them in the batter and mix manually. This was the first time I was testing this recipe and I had less batter for it, but I changed the recipe with a few trials so I actually was able to get more muffins out of the batter. How many muffins you get out of the batter will depend on how much you fill them up. The batter doesn't raise a lot, so you can actually fill them up to the top and you would be okay if you want bigger muffins or you can fill them less if you want smaller snacks. Once I pour all the batter, I add blueberries on the top. I like to use fresh blueberries for this because sometimes the frozen ones tend to just kind of melt and leave blueberry water all over your muffin and I feel that the fresh ones work better. Do make sure that they are fresh and sweet because if you use bitter ones, your cupcakes won't be as delicious. You can place as many as you want. Once you're done, you can sprinkle on the top some granular swerve or even trubia. This will give it a little bit of crunch at the top of the muffin. Now you can put this in the oven and bake at 350 for around 25 minutes. Make sure to test it with a toothpick to make sure they're done and let them cool down completely so you can enjoy the flavor. Almond flour tastes better when it's cold, so make sure to let them cool down completely. Once cooled down, you can enjoy this beautiful, really delicious blueberry low carb muffins. All the recipes will be posted in my website. Link will be posted in the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, visit me on Facebook, Instagram, and share your work with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed these blueberry muffins. Until next time, ta-ta!